The cost analysis and preparation of sun tea. This is straight up tea of some unknown brand. I'm not promoting this tea. It is very good. We're going to make our own sun tea using these tea bags from this company. I am not promoting this product. It is very good. Sun tea is quite easy to make. I will demonstrate. In this package there are 100 tea bags. I use one, two, three, four, four bags for a gallon of water. To start off, I fill it with water. This is the hard part. You can use cold water or hot water or warm water. Any water you want. Whoa, it's overflowing. I've got a little too much in there. I pour out a little bit. Next, I will add one bag, two bags, three bags, four bags. Now this is not hot water, this is just room temperature water. I have my strings hanging outside and then I attach the cap back to it which keeps those right in place. The next thing I do is take this container which was an old great value distilled water which I am not promoting. Take it outside and let it sit in the sun. Where is the sun? It's up there somewhere. It's a cloudy day here in central Pennsylvania. So perhaps we're making cloud tea. I put it right here on that old table and then I go about my day. I'll come back later and check on it. I not want to leave it outside overnight because those animals, the platypuses and the beavers and the bears might come along and they might pee on it. Then you won't have sun tea, you'll have pee tea. The sun has come out. That tea is just getting darker and darker. The homemade sun tea sat for about eight hours outside, nice and warm. Take it in. This wonderful empty bottle. Just pour a little bit into any old empty bottle that you have laying around the house. And it's brand new, ready to go. We'll put this in the refrigerator and get it cold. Sweet!